Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 13th of February 2019 and the time has just gone 12.25 GMT. This week's Chart of the Week is the Dollar Yen and if you take a look um, at how the currency pair performed over the past 12 months we can see that broadly speaking it's in a fairly decent upward trend. At the back end of last year um, in December we saw a move to the downside, a very decent correction. Granted, there was a, a sharp sell-off um, in early January, and that was on the, on the back of the, the flash crash that was seen uh, across the FX markets. It, was, it coincided with an Apple warned about uh, declining sales coming out of China. But since then, we've seen the market push higher, and we, this could be a sign that the market is continuing the wider upward trend uh, that has been in place for over a year. So as you can see here, in, uh, in recent weeks, in the last couple of months, basically, we've seen the dollar yen make a nice um, um, uh, move in the direction of a nice upward trend. A classic example of a, of a higher high, higher low, and uh, yet again, another higher. And we've actually managed to push above and trade above this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, which comes into play at 110, spot 37. Uh, another indication that that, that the moving at the market is, uh, is pushing higher. If we take a look at the MACD indicator, we can, we can see here that as the market's been pushing higher, there's been a steady increase in positive momentum. So the upward move in the online market is being confirmed by the steady increase in positive momentum. And if you take a look uh, at this chart here, the dollar yen, we can see that it's been pushing higher for the last number of weeks. It also coincides with the, with, the, with, the, with the broadening strength of the US dollar against the euro, the, the, the British pound, and also uh, the Australian dollar, for example, and this is because the Federal Reserve may have changed their language from being a bit on the hawkish side to be, be, being a bit more neutral. But we've also seen all the central banks around the world actually move towards a more dovish stance. So even though you could argue that the Fed is a bit more dovish now than they were a few months ago, it's just we now have the case where central banks like the Bank of Japan have now become more dovish than the Fed. The Bank of England are obviously uncertain in relation to Brexit, and we've heard some potentially kind of dovish comments um, from the European Central Bank. So uh, keep an eye out for Central Bankers' comments if you trade in the dollar yen. Um, as you can see, the market's been pushing higher for the last number of weeks. If we do manage to push on higher from here, we could look at the target of the, the 112 region, and a move beyond that could take the mid-December high of 113 spot 17 to play, and then if we go beyond that, we could be looking at targeting the 114 region. If we do manage to turn lower, uh, we could find some support coming to play in around the 110 or 109 spot 55 region. Uh, and if we do see a break below this area here, uh, 108 spot 50, that, that region, that could be a sign that we're heading back down towards the 106 area. Now, if you, if you are going to be trading the dollar yen, please keep in mind that later today we have US CPI and at 11.50 p.m., um, 23.50 GMT, we do have uh, growth figures, preliminary growth figures from Japan. So please keep an eye out for that if you are going to be trading with the dollar yen. Um, one last thing, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Marcus, please feel free to leave a review on Google Review. Thank you very much.